Well, welcome to Ravensdale Bible Academy, and I'm thrilled to introduce you to uh, one of my courses that I've I've written a book for that I developed called I Am the Mission, and uh, I've experienced the mercy mission of Jesus Christ as uh, as a recipient and uh, as a volunteer for my whole life, really, and so I'm really passionate about things that give us an opportunity uh, to serve people, uh, to show our love for the Lord by loving other people. And so Jesus Christ, he himself sets that tone in the scriptures. And so in this course, where it's uh, one of our book review courses, we're going to take a look at the book, but more importantly, we're going to dissect uh, about 40 lessons of some key biblical verses that exhort us, that call us, that command us, that demand that we have a heart of compassion, that we have a heart like Christ. Uh, I'm often told uh, many times, especially living here in the Seattle area, and I come from the Los Angeles area, where there's just massive populations of, of homeless people. And, and Unfortunately, and it breaks my heart because uh, so many Christians I hear quote their favorite verse, if you don't work, you don't eat. And while that's definitely a, 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 a biblical concept and definitely a, a biblical principle, I also have a hundred verses that talk about how we as believers, as followers of Christ, or to, as James says, pure undefiled religion, serve the widow, the orphan, and the poor. How there's times, as Hebrew says, that we might be entertaining angels. We have a great parable about the Good Samaritan. Did you know that God invented welfare? Take a look at Jeremiah. And it goes on and on and on. In Leviticus, we have the whole concept of, of gleaning, of gleaners allowing the poor to come into your fields and to reap and take some of the harvest. And so this is not a new concept to the Bible. It's not a new concept to the God, to God, which is to be compassionate and merciful. But I do believe that it's kind of a new concept to many Christians. And so what we want to do with this class is we want to train our kids at a, at a young age uh, to be real, to understand how somebody might have uh, become homeless and, and look at the, the realities of that. But our first thought and concept should be that of compassion. First and foremost, we should be compassionate. We, we should be the light of the world, right? Jesus didn't came, come to destroy. He came to seek and save the lost. The lost. And so I am the mission is a kind of a play on words. If you, if you take a look at the book, uh, you'll notice that the I is not capitalized because, of course, as, as the Bible will say over and over and over again, that, hey, we're just humble servants. We're bond servants. And so, yes, I, Tony Jamie, am involved in the Mercy Mission, but 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 I'm not capitalized, right? I'm, I'm just a little guy. I'm the little I. The big guy is Jesus himself. And, and so I am the mission means you, you have a responsibility to do something. Just like Jesus did. Just like Jesus did. And so that's the big the big picture here is we really want to uh, train our, 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 our children, train our students to have that, that, that gospel of grace uh, type of heart. Uh, to understand that, that the depravity of man, that the consequences of sin may lead them to homelessness, may lead them to... Um, being in an impoverished way, but the grace, the grace uh, comes through. The mercy, mercy is not getting what you deserve, right? You do something wrong, you deserve a spanking, you don't get it, you don't get punished, you don't get the consequences. Grace is the, on the other hand, is getting that free gift that you don't deserve. And so we see throughout the scriptures the combination of grace and mercy, grace and mercy, and that's the type of person we want to be. When Jesus says, deny yourself, take up your daily cross and follow me. What do you think he's saying? 
die on the cross? No. What he's saying is, follow me. Be, you know, deny yourself, little I. Don't, don't be arrogant. Don't be proud. Be humble. Follow me. Follow my ways. Not only be willing to sacrifice for others, uh, but also serving others. You know, it's hard to be hospitable. It's hard to take the time to, to go out and serve other people. But that was the, 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 the example that our Lord and Savior, that the King of the universe was a servant. He was a servant. And then we look at, and, and through the book, we study some examples of that. When we look at something like the YMCA, right? The YMCA, what was a, an organization de designed to, to house people. Young Men's Christian Association. The Red Cross was designed to, to serve injured soldiers on both sides of the line. It was a Christian organization. Schools, hospitals, universities, all of these things were designed because people who had a heart for Christ had a heart for people who didn't know how to read, who weren't educated. And so they decided, you know, we got to start schools. The people who who were sick and 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 suffering in the streets we've got to have hospitals that's why so many hospitals uh, have have christian or catholic names associated with them and so we again want to live lives that, that has that you know that bracelet mentality wwjd what would jesus do and jesus would have a merciful passionate heart and so we're commanded we're commanded to be um, kind. We're commanded to be compassionate. So in the book, I am the mission. We're, we're, we're following Christ. That's what we're following. We're going to take a look at 40 key biblical verses and take a look what Jesus, what God has to say. Um. <laughs>